Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Ravenous Devils. Who's hungry? <laughs> because I have two ovens now, which means that we have doubled our increase of food. The platters can only hold six food plates or six plates of food. We have two ovens. We have two plates for prep and we have the minced meat, the sausages and the steak up here in the tailoring store. We don't really have a whole lot going on except for the one mannequin doll and the one, but the up, not the upload speed. <laughs> what is wrong with me? The tailoring sewing speed is insane on this thing. So as far as upgrades go, we still have one more workbench that we can get another oven upgrade. We have the tomatoes, but like I said in the last video, I'm going to wait until we get the tomatoes because I think that after you've unlocked the tomatoes, it will unlock the greenhouse. I could be wrong because the greenhouse might be like a story based thing since the attendant was locked before and it was a story based thing as well, which our goal for this video is to get an attendant. Again, not quite sure how I feel about him working in the shop. We're going to start our day. Let's see what could possibly go wrong today. Nothing because I am goaded at this game. Check back. Refer to my last two videos. Nothing has gone wrong since the first episode. <laughs> And I'm quick with it too. As soon as he took that, I already had the mouse ready to click on it and now boom. And then watch this. I'm gonna take that, throw that on the uh, the sewing machine. This guy's gonna come in to get fitted. And right then and there, you take it, stab him right in the heart, right in the jugular. I'm ready, I'm quick with it. Nobody really understands that I'm just him at this game. So Hildred is gonna take one of these. I do remember their names now. It, it's Hildred and Percival. So because our store has been getting more popular and recognized a bit more amongst the community, we are going to be getting more customers coming in. Which means that it's going to be a little harder for me to keep track of what's going on. Which will also mean that it's going to take a lot more focus for me to do the damn thing. So far, so good on time. We have $40 and the day is not even over yet. We're, we might end up having ourselves uh, a very friendly, responsible servant by the end of today. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, I forgot about the body, fuck! Okay, I was really talking big game. And now I'm possibly going to get myself caught. I am very curious, though, as to what happens if somebody does come back here while I'm getting rid of the body. Oh, food. Fifty four pounds. Everybody's satisfied. I, I have left nobody with a single bad satisfaction. There's no bad orders. There's no mixed orders. Every single time I play after the first episode, there have only been good orders. I should I should open up my own cannibal shop, shouldn't I? No, no, I was kidding. Damn. I need to if I'm going to buy something, it's got to be something cheap. So it. There's not a whole lot on this list. 25 pounds is the most I'm going to spend on something because I should be able to just make whatever I spent right back the next day. With that being said, our choices are a new workstation would be nice. Some more decorations. The thing about the decorations is I don't really need to worry about that right now because it increases the client's patience. So if they are waiting for food or waiting to be tailored or waiting for you know, an outfit, they don't have to wait long at all because I already have that stuff prepped and ready to sit out, you know? More space in the display is also nice. Tables are a no-go. Neither is the mannequin. I'm debating between a new workbench or more space in the display. 
Because everything else right now is kind of irrelevant. I'm going to go with more space in the display. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot that he was up here. Oh my god, this game is dark. It would be kind of nice if this game had, like, daily specialties. Because after you unlock some of the, the more expensive ingredients on the list, there's really no reason for you to make, like, the patties, for example, or the meat pies. Because they don't go for as much. Sure, I guess if you're in a rush and you need to make something to just put on display, you're going to want to make something that doesn't take as long or requires many ingredients but if you're well prepped like i am then it shouldn't you shouldn't have too much of a problem making the the three-star meal you know what i mean but if there were specialties for the day let's say for example the meat pies went for way more than this three-star meal here for whatever reason i would be more inclined to make that because right now my flower is kind of just sitting here and I'm using most of the meat. I don't know. I I don't really feel like there's any purpose to making anything else that was previously on the menu after you've unlocked some more expensive items on your menu. Now that I'm prepping the shop for the day, I am kind of, I am kind of understanding why there are other items on the menu. Because let's say that after these seven that are on the plate up here run out, okay? I go to make another one of these three-star specialties. I am now out of meat. It takes too long for Mildred. Is it Mildred or Hildred? Hildred? Mildred? Something with a dread. <laughs> Please don't correct me. I, I, I know it's one of the two. But when I make that third three-star platter, I'm going to run out of sausage. And it's ta it takes too long for Hildred to grind up the meat. So I'm going to want to use something that either requires just the steak just the minced meat or both of these two until I've run out of, you know, all three. So I guess I can see, but I feel like if you're if you're well prepared and have enough bodies, whatever. Anyways, open the shop. We're ready for the next day. We gotta get ourselves a servant. <laughs> We've kind of reached a problem. We still have so much time left on the on the counter. And I'm almost out of just about every meat that I could possibly get. We do have bodies down here, fortunately. And we have all nine trays set up and ready for food. Which I'm not too worried about. But I don't know. I don't know, Chief. We're running out of time. And we're running out of food. I'm not stressed. I'm not stressed at all. The day is going to be fine. It's, it's going to be good. We're going to have a great time. I have legitimately nothing to worry about. There. We're good. We are A-OK. -okay. We are definitely out of meat. I wonder if having more mannequins set up, though, is what brings in more customers for the tailor. Because at the moment... Okay, I thought we had a bad review. Hold on, I'll get back to what I was saying in a second. I remember very clearly the moment this idea formed in my head. The balcony outside my bedroom offers a spectacular view, and when the fog clears, you can nearly you can clearly see the city's cemetery. One day, I sat staring at it until dusk. I could not sleep at all that night. All I could think about was all that meat going to waste in such a hard and desperate times. And waste in such hard and desperate times. It is a shame to leave all that good food to the hungry worms in the ground below. As I read through biology books, I found out that in nature, many animal species eat their own. Apparently, only human beings are used to depriving themselves of this habit. Probably because we have more of a self-restraint to know that that is inhumane. That is crazy. Intrigued by this idea, I decided to taste human flesh, but procuring a corpse was no mean feat. First, I visited the city hospital. The doctors have a glut of corpses to study and analyze at the, at, the moment, at the moment. I requested a body from an acquaintance of mine, but he refused even after my attempt to grease him, grease his palm. I've never heard that expression used before. What the fuck? 
You did what to him? It was much simpler to convince the gravedigger, though. I managed to secure a homeless man whose disappearance no one would have noticed. I cooked his body in the kitchen, and, he ever, and ever since I tasted that flesh, I came to understand that I could not help but long for more. Later, however, people started to get suspicious, so to my regret, I decided to stop. Now, you are here. What a blessing! I sincerely trust that the banquet will leave up, will live up to my expectations. Oh, don't you worry, because we have the greatest servant you will ever fucking see! What does he do? Oh, story time. Hi, nice to meet you. Percival told me about you. Hi, yes, my name is Joshua. Oh, he's already got a name, I forgot. I was over here trying to name him. Oh my god. If you really think about it, that's so fucked up. I mean, if you think about it, Joshua's probably not even his real name. Because he was bought. And usually in that circuit. Why am I still talking? I was Elliot's assistant, but... I don't work with him anymore. He disappeared. I don't know where he's gone. People come and go all the... Oh, sorry, that was... I gotta pay attention to who's talking. To immerse myself. People come and go all the time. The kind Mr. Percival told me that I could work here last time. Yes, I need a helping hand here in the pub. You'll be paid really well if you follow my instructions carefully. I'll do anything you ask, ma'am. Come with me. I'll explain everything to you. Especially how we kill everyone we come, we come across. I messed up the joke. This is the expositor. Clients will take what they desire from it. You just need to put every meal I deliver you on here. Fine. I'll send you meals using the dumb waiter back there. It's pretty. Ow! That's so much easier. Holy hell! Okay. Yes, I understood. You also need to remember to take orders from tables when we'll have some. I'll cook what they want, and I'll send you everything. In case you are really busy, prioritize clients at tables. They are worth more money to us. Oh, so I should really be getting tables in here. Then. Got it. I know that for next time. All right. I'm really fast, Hildred. I can handle this. Last but not least, the gin. I would like to buy some gin for the clients in the future. Like, like a gin and tonic? We can serve it to clients at tables when they start to get bored. So that I have more time to get everything done. That's it. Okay, I can manage this. Do you need any help in the kitchen? I was forgetting the golden rule. I forbid you to come into the kitchen. Keep that in mind or I'll fire you and kill you and cook your corpse and serve you to our next guest. What? I didn't say anything. You're a very sweet boy. Oh. Uh, don't worry. I won't come down. Perfect. I like you. I wonder if you taste good. I mean, we'll do great work together. I'm sure about it. <laughs> uh, I'm having too much fun right now. Okay. So the dumb waiters are now in use. What about the sinks? What do we do with the sinks? What is this over here? Maybe life's getting a little easier after all. Perfect. So we make the food, we send them up. Shh, he doesn't know. Hire an attendant. All right. I don't have, no, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck, shit, 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 shit. Hildred, we gotta move. I opened the shop by accident. I was trying to click on upgrades, but I clicked the wrong thing. Ah! I'll make this work. I'm not gonna stress about it. It was a rough start, but nothing too terrible. Look at that, our first customer is coming in for the tailor, not the food. Let's keep it that way. Joshua! So now I gotta remember three people's names. Joshua, Percival, and Hildred. Not Mildred. Hildred. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's really nice. Hell yeah. I lost my train of thought. I need to stay focused. 
having a servant around or having an assistant i'm gonna call him an assistant that is a much better was he a servant or an assistant either way calling him an assistant is a much better no, way to think about this whole situation can we just take a second to appreciate how simple this has become i i definitely do need to get more stuff up here for percival but the food i think is going to be the most stressor so far there's there's so much going on with the food that it's kind of hard to keep up but having the dumb waiters and having joshua do his job and then having the two ovens the two workshops or workbenches gas straight gas i have run out of meat But just like the last couple of times, it's no big deal because the day is almost over. Woo! Woo! All right, let's do some upgrading. I feel like it's time to get some tables in here, right? But the meat seems to be running out really fast. Let's get some tables. It's about time. It is about time we got ourselves some tables up in here. Story time! Finally, we've managed to fix the tables. Or a table. Now it's ready for our clients to use. I will write down their orders and serve them freshly baked food. That was it? Oh. No way I actually have to click on the people sitting down. No, that adds more stress to it. Oh, no. But wait, isn't Joshua? Wait, no, I'm supposed to do that. Joshua is just supposed to plate the food. Fuck. Then I'll cook what they desire. Let's find out what they want. Oops. Okay, it's coming right up. That's why there's other items on the menu. They want a hamburger. I have minced meat ready in the kitchen. They'll love it. Let's get cooking. I'll just need some minced meat. Okay. Shit. That makes a lot of sense now. Oh, that makes so much sense. I guess if I had just continued playing the game and shut the hell up, it, it would have all come together. Because I was like, why are there other items on the menu if I can just keep serving this stuff that gets me more money? This is why. They must be hungry. Let's put the uh, let's put the meal on the client's table. Damn. Is it before it gets cold? And then I can't I can't send this up to Joshua because he's supposed to plate the stuff on the platter. So if I send it up to Dumbwaiter, he's just going to plate it instead of giving it to the people at the table, I assume. Unless I missed that part of the explanation of what he's supposed to do. Perfect! From now on, I should prioritize the clients at the table. Maybe keeping some meals ready on the workbench will help me. That's work to do. There's work to do. Well-fed clients mean more meat in the future. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, boy. So then probably my next upgrade is going to be a third workbench. So that I can keep some stuff sitting on the as table. Fast as I can. Ooh, we're getting rough and rowdy now. There's a lot of things we got to keep track of. Oh, and now that I'm thinking about it, I also can't just pre-prep the shop anymore. Because... Like right now, I only have one minced meat, one sausage, and two steak. If somebody comes in and has a seat and they want something that I can't make, that's a big problem. So I can't just use all my meat to prep one singular meal for the day. Oh, no. The kitchen section of this game is so much more intricate than the tailoring section. Food service really is hard. <laughs> That's not to say that I didn't know that before. I have worked pseudo food service. I did, um, I used to work at a Target that had a Pizza Hut inside. And that Pizza Hut was a Pizza Hut Express. So of course we weren't selling everything on the Pizza Hut menu. 
So what would happen is all of the food would be like frozen. So nothing had to actually be prepped. It was just throw some meat, throw some cheese on the pizza, put it through the oven and then have it on display. And the longest it could be on display for it was like 30 minutes to an hour. Then we had to swap it out. Some stuff you would just pull out of the freezer and put it through the oven. And it wasn't really that bad. It could have been worse. There were busy days for sure. Oh no, no, I wasn't prepared. I completely forgot that I had to service people sitting in chairs. We're getting really busy now. See, if I had pre-prepped that three course meal, I wouldn't have had any sausage to make uh, that new item with. Fuck! I really need to focus now. I'm getting stressed. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when a gamer loses focus under pressure. Notice how he places the wrong ingredients on this table and still proceeds to cook it. Oh, but he doesn't notice that this isn't what he needs right now. But he will. He will. Yeah, this is getting way too stressful now. What? <gasps> no! No! I fucked up the order! No! fast as I can. Oh, no! Fuck. <clears throat> well, that's done. They're gonna leave. I think I put the meat, the sausage, and the steak on there together. It was out of complete habit. I promise you, it was pure habit that I did that. Shit. Well, that was the first bad review, or bad reputation. It won't happen again, though! I know, you're pissed. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. And then I'm gonna run out of meat here. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Of course they want something on the menu that I don't have the meat for. I'm getting stressed out. I'm spazzing. I'm not doing too well. There's no, there's no shit on display. Hildred, please. Hildred, Hildred, I just need you to move. I just need you to move quickly. I was talking so much shit when I started this video. I I was really, th I really thought I was doing something. People will like this. Mm. <laughs> and because I'm stressing about what's going on down here, I'm also not really paying attention to what's going on in Percival's section. Come on, lady, move faster. Move a little faster. They want their food. They want it now. They want it now. They want it now. Ooh. Come on, we're done. We're done. We're done. Did I give it to them? Are they eating? Are you enjoying your food? I know I wasn't the fastest service, but you gotta understand that I'm, I'm new to all this. I think I bit off more than I could chew. <laughs> um, nom nom. I'm so glad you enjoyed your food. Um, nom nom. Um, nom nom. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Our reputation! No. Oh. oh. Okay. Wow. So I really need to start upgrading some stuff because, oh my goodness. I need to be able to produce more meat. Two, four, six. Oh, oh. I can at least upgrade these. And I can upgrade this. Woo! Perfect. Being able to produce more meat means that I will have more meat to serve and it won't run out as quickly. <sighs> but I need more bodies. I need... I need the mannequin. I'm so invested now. Not that I wasn't invested before, but I'm really invested now that shit's getting a little harder for me. Fuck. I have no bodies! Why didn't anybody warn me that this game was gonna get harder? <laughs> Why'd you guys let me talk all this shit? Okay, other than the fact that I only have one of each meat, we do have a bunch of steaks on display. So that fills up my nine. And then depending on what a person comes in for, I should have enough meat until Percival starts getting some clients in his shop. I don't feel great about this. We're going to see what happens. 
Oh, wait. Oh, he goes to take their orders. That's what he was supposed to do. So Joshua takes the orders from the people at the table. And then Hildred will stay in the kitchen and prep the food. I got you. That makes it a lot easier then. Because it takes her too much time to get upstairs, take their order, and then get back downstairs. Okay. So I really did myself a favor without knowing it by uh, hiring the assistant before... I'm losing my train of thought. Hiring the assistant before something 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 this is not going well this is harder than i thought it was gonna be oh lady just wait five more seconds just wait now uh, Fuck! oh okay man that's rough bro that's rough and i don't have a whole lot of body to work with does this even make anything Yeah, the sausage and the minced meat doesn't make anything. Shit. Shitty tits. What does that say? My dearest Rhodes, here we are with the second target. The hand of fate has fallen on, on my friend Gilbert Weston, the only person who loves eating as much as I do. The other night, I hosted him at my house and talked to him about your shop. I told him of the, of the excellent food of yours and of Percival's smartly tailored suits. He seemed curious right away he seemed curious right away and told me he would certainly be paying you a visit i truly love this man he is the brother i never had eating him will be my sincerest gesture of friendship and appreciation come on bro i really hope this guy never gets married or has kids because this is kind of fucked in that moment we will become one p.s i hope this time the process will be quicker all the waiting is unnerving to me is unnerving Okay, well, <laughs> I think I fucked this order up. Is there a way to like can something? Can I trash it? What does this do? Ah, that is a trash. Okay. Oh, we unlocked a gin barrel. Oh. Gin will rest your client's patience. Oh. But I was kind of just talking about getting another workbench. Decisions, man. This game leaves you with so many decisions. Especially as it starts to get harder. So question. If I purchase another mannequin, does that bring more people into the tailoring shop? Because I think... I don't know if it was the reputation getting higher or if it was because I started adding more stuff to the kitchen. But after I started adding more displays to the kitchen and like more decorations and got more stuff... Uh, or more stuff to the pub and then more stuff to the kitchen, more people started to come in for food. If I add another mannequin here, does that bring more people into the tailoring shop? Because I need more bodies. <laughs> not enough people are coming in to buy clothes, so not enough people are being killed. No! Some mannequins need to be dressed. No. Thank you for doing that. Because they didn't last time and I wasn't prepared. <sighs> I'm going to add another mannequin. I really should stop recording. Um, but with two mannequins now acquired, I, I want to see if it makes any difference to how many people come into the tailoring shop. And I want to see if that makes it any easier for me down in the kitchen and in the pub. So I'm going to open up the shop. I probably won't show too much unless something interesting happens. Here we go. Okay. This wasn't too terrible with how many people came in to be fitted I now have three, four bodies, I think, which is more than what I was getting before. So this works. It is doable. It's just a lot. You, you really have to manage everything, everything all at once. But until I figure it out, until I get my flow, our reputation is going to continue to drop. Unfortunately. Last bit of story time before we end the video. Oh, is that your friend? Uh, What's his name? Oh, good lord! Stay calm, beast! Hi, I'm sorry, but we're closed. I'll be opening up soon. I need to finish cooking still. Oh my dear, I'm so sorry. I'm Mr. Gilbert Weston. 
I was told that you are a skillful cook. Maybe my request will shock you, but I would like you to cook the beast in this cage. My dog's birthday is approaching and I would like to feed him this little hell beast. Ah, so you are Mr. Gilbert. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, you can call me Hildred. Do we know each other, Miss Hildred? Oh, no, 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 no. I've heard your name from some of my customers. Anyway, what kind of animal is in that cage? Please take a look. It's a cat. I bought it to catch the rats in my warehouse. But it just sleeps and eats a complete waste of money. A cat? Mr. Gilbert, um, I must say, he seems to be sick. Yes, definitely sick. Meanwhile, the cat is hacking up a lung. The poor animal will die soon. You shouldn't feed it to your dog. He'll get sick too. Oh, for goodness sake! Good thing you told me this, Hildred. <laughs> if you want, I can take care of him. So he won't be... So he won't be a bother to you anymore. That would be great. Thank you very much. You will be doing me a huge favor. And remember to make the beast suffer. Goodbye, Mr. Gilbert. All right, everybody in this town's a goddamn psychopath. Understood. This cat is lovely. Percival and I were used to having many in our house. I miss having one. Someone will surely suffer, Mr. Gilbert, and it won't be this little cat. So what are we going to do now? Where are we going to keep the cat? Hopefully not around the food. That's unsanitary. What are you doing? Oh, poor boy. He was terrified. You are a free. You are free now, kitty. Kitty. No one will hurt you. Who knows? Maybe if I get too comfortable. Maybe if I get a comfortable couch. He'll come back and stay with me. Okay. Cool. Got it. Our reputation didn't go down too much. We didn't have any bad reviews, just some mixed ones. As you may already have noticed, I chose I choose my victims meticulously, paying close attention to their lifestyles. The meat must be of the highest quality, so it would never have crossed my mind to eat at your place. Everyone in town seems to be satisfied with, with so little. I'm sure Hildred must be an expert with seasoning and toppings. See you soon. Oh, buddy. Okay. I'm going to end the video here. This game has gotten significantly more stressful since I started playing. Literally since the beginning of this video alone, the game has gotten severely more stressful. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do some upgrading on some of my items. We got more bodies to cook up. So once I start getting the flow of things, because I know for sure that if I buy another mannequin, it will bring more people. Well, I almost it's a good thing. It's a hold and not a click. If I buy another mannequin, it'll bring more people into the tailoring shop, which will then give me more people for the kitchen. So it, it all fits together quite nicely. You have to upgrade them all at the same time as one another. Anyways, I'll figure it out. If you want to see my last video, which was a game called Platform 8, made by the same people who made Exit 8, I'll have that link somewhere around here. I don't know. If you want to see my last video of Ravenous Devils, I'll also have that link somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out.